Bonjour encore, étudiante de français. Hello again, French students. Uh, this recording is going to tell you how to do your next project, which is entitled Une prévision météorologique, which is a mouthful to say, and that means a weather forecast. You are not going to actually do a weather forecast, but you are going to tell uh, what the weather is like in your area in each season. So let's get started. Quel temps fait-il? <clears throat> in the last two lessons, you learned about weather expressions in French, and you learned about seasons in, seasons in French. So it says to review all weather expressions from the last two assignments. All of the vocab is in the last section of each lesson. So there are a few here. Il pleut which means it's raining. Il neige, which means it's snowing. Il fait orageux, which means it's stormy. Um, you may not have had that one, but it, it is another um, French weather expression that you can use. Il fait humide, it's humid, <clears throat> which in most parts of Idaho it usually is not humid. Il fait du vent, it is windy out. Il fait du soleil, it's sunny. Il fait du brouillard. It's foggy out. Il fait nuageux. It's cloudy. And il fait chaud. It's hot. You can use any of the other weather expressions you have learned. And now les saisons. You're also to review the seasons in French from the last assignment. So which are printemps, which is spring, été, which is summer, automne, which is uh, fall, and hiver, which is winter. So, uh, down below again it says, remember, use au printemps, en été, en automne, and en hiver to say in spring, in summer, etc. Because you'll be saying, in the fall, it is chilly where I live, or some, something to that effect. So you'll need to use the word O or EN before each of the seasons. So the actual project, you can see there with the lightning bolts hitting the Eiffel Tower, since the Eiffel Tower is by far the tallest structure in that area, it regularly gets hit by lightning. So, but anyway, it, um, it's also used as a ground for lightning, so um, everyone is safe in that um, tower when that happens. So, there are two sections in this project. In the first section, you're going to write about the weather in your city or town. In the second section, you're going to study a map of France and answer questions about what the weather is like in different cities. So we're going to talk about how to do the first part of this assignment in this lesson because the second part will be just like you do in the rest of your Odyssey where um, questions. It'll just show you a map and you'll have to select what the weather is like in each city. So the assignment. Imagine that a friend of yours was moving to your city or town and wanted to know what the weather is like throughout the year you would have to use several weather-related expressions. So, in, for example, in this picture, you would say, En hiver, il neige et il fait froid. In winter, it snows and it is cold. In that picture, it is um, a picture of Sacré-Cœur, which is a famous uh, structure, um, a church in Paris upon a hill. And so, although it doesn't snow all that much in Paris, it did here, obviously, and they're having fun. So let's go on. The assignment continued. You see, il fait du vent. It's very windy in that picture. Write six to eight sentences describing the local weather and temperature in your city or town. Make sure to mention the following. The four seasons at least one description of the weather for each season, and an approximate temperature for each season. <clears throat> we'll see an example on this next slide. Un exemple. 
You can see there in that picture those tourists are under une parapluie, parce qu'il pleut. They're under an umbrella because it's raining. Okay, the example sentence or paragraph that they give you here is J'habite à Lawrence, Kansas. En hiver, il fait froid et il neige souvent. En général, il fait 5 degrés. Au printemps, il pleut beaucoup. En général, il fait 60 degrés. En été, il y a beaucoup de soleil, mais il fait chaud. Il fait souvent 98 degrés. En automne, il fait frais et il fait 60 à 75 degrés. Il y a souvent du vent. J'aime bien l'automne parce que les feuilles d'arbres changent de couleur. Okay, so I hope you have sort of an idea of what that means, but let's go over it again, sentence by sentence, and translate to English. J'habite à Lawrence, Kansas. So you know that j'habite means I live in. So I live in Lawrence, Kansas. En hiver, you know what en hiver is in winter. Il fait froid et il neige souvent. You know that il fait froid is it's cold. And il neige means it's snowing. Souvent means often. En général, il fait 5 degrés. In general, it is 5 degrees. That is cold. Au printemps, you know that means in springtime. Il pleut beaucoup. It rains a lot. En général, il fait 60 degrés. In general, it is 60 degrees. If you don't know an exact temperature for that time of year, make a good guess based on what the weather is like. If it's cold, you know it's below freezing. If it's chilly, you know it's 40 to 50 degrees. If it's warm, it's around 60 or 70. Hot, I'd say above 70 for me anyway. So let's go on. En été, il y a beaucoup de soleil. So you know, en été is in summer. Il y a beaucoup de soleil. There is a lot of sun. Mais il fait chaud, but it is hot. Il fait souvent 98 degrés. It is often 98 degrés. Whew, that is hot. En automne, you know that means in fall, il fait frais. That means it's chilly. Et il fait 60 à 75 degrés. So it is 60 to 75 degrees there in the fall. Il y a souvent du vent. There is often wind. Now here's the part that you may not know. J'aime bien means I really like l'automne, autumn, parce que les feuilles d'arbres changent de couleur. I really like autumn because... The leaves change colors. So you don't have to put anything like that on the end. That is just an example. The requirements are that you mention each season and what kind of weather there is in your town in that season and an approximate temperature. All right, let's go on. So example continued. So il fait beau in that beach picture of Nice, France. It's very beautiful out in that picture. Aussi, il fait nuageux. It's cloudy. Et aussi, il fait du soleil. And also, it's sunny. So, use the paragra example paragraph as the basis for your own weather statements. Please just use the expressions you already know in order to practice them, rather than looking up words you do not know. That becomes rather confusing, can lower your grade if you are not very careful, and it misses the point of the assignment. The point of this assignment is to practice words you already know. <clears throat> so some extra vocabulary. And there that girl is standing in that cemetery. Uh, il fait du brouillard. It's foggy there. So here's some extra vocabulary to help you connect your sentences together. Il y a means there is. Beaucoup means a lot. Souvent is often. Mais is but. 
en général, in general, and j'aime bien, I really like. So after you get done with your paragraph, you edit and revise. Read your paragraph aloud to yourself and see if it makes sense. Also, um, practice speaking your French. And then check your work with the example paragraph to see if you've included everything you need and see if you've put it in the, um, uh, the proper sentences, in the proper order. Then that picture, il fait beau, it's beautiful. Des questions? Any questions? So if you are watching this recording, you must call me to discuss and get credit for this live class recording. It's an easy and painless way to boost your grade. So um, both of those phone numbers, you may call between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, if you don't get me at one, try the other before leaving a message. Thanks and good luck on this. Au revoir.